Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbyzzle here on YouTube, and today I am making this video because I have to come up with something quickly. It's kind of last minute. I was out of town for a week. I just got back from being out of town. It has been raining for two days straight. The lighting is awful, so there's not much I can film in this house, and it's something that I have to come up with pretty quickly. So I thought, you know what? I'll try to go do my zero waste grocery shopping at Target. I've done a video like this before, but I did it at Walmart. I'll link it up here if you guys want to check that out. But I also could make this an entire series if there are other grocery stores you want me to try to do this at leave those in the comments the ones that get the most comments are the ones that I'll try next if you want me to try this at Kroger or Whole Foods or what else is here what other grocery stores are even here I don't know but I live in Austin so I might not have all the grocery stores that you have but I will do my best if you tell me in the comments where you want me to try this out next as I'm sure you gathered by reading the title and the thumbnail of this video we are going to try to go zero waste grocery shopping at Target now I don't have a meal plan in mind I don't have anything in mind that I'm going to get because I don't know what they'll have package free or in more sustainable packaging I'll kind of have to make this meal up on the fly and then once I buy it I'll go ahead and cook it maybe tonight or in a couple days and I'll post that video on mine and Madison's vlog channel so if you want to see what we cook after we try the grocery shopping then you can go over there and check that out I'll link our channel in this corner but like I said if you want to see more of these leave a thumbs up and tell me where you want to see the next one in the comments I'll pick the one that has the most comments and I'll see you guys when we get to Target So I just made it to Target. I don't know if you can see peeking right there. That's Target. Um, I wanted to show you guys that what I'm bringing are just a few produce bags and a few little like collapsible grocery bags. It's just easier when I'm by myself to do it this way. When Madison and I go do our big grocery shops, um, we bring like this huge bag of reusable bags that we have and we also have quite a few more produce bags. Um, but it's easier when it's just me and I'm just grabbing a few things to bring these. This is one of the things I got from Earth Hero. Um, it comes with three produce bags in there and it all fits in this little thing and I can just throw that in my backpack really easily. So this is all I'll need for today. I also wanted to share with you as we're walking in what materials we will be prioritizing and why we will be prioritizing those materials. So the reason we're going to be prioritizing things other than plastic is because plastic is actually the most toxic form of like packaging that you can find. It doesn't really biodegrade. It has a biodegradation time of like thousands of years, but all that really means is that the microplastics will be so small that they won't be able to be like associated with the original product. But really plastic lasts in the environment forever in things that we call microplastics and little bitty organisms eat those microplastics which bigger organisms eat those and so on and so forth up the food chain and it is a very toxic thing that happens in our food chain so plastic doesn't biodegrade it also is really hard to recycle especially thin plastics they are very very rarely actually recycled and even when they can be they can only be recycled once same thing with like thicker plastics some of those can be recycled more than once but most of the time plastics are only able to be made back into one other thing before they are no longer able to be recycled at all. So that leads me to why we will be prioritizing things that are package free, that are packaged in cardboard, minimal plastic, metals, and glass. That's because metal and glass can be recycled an infinite amount of times. A glass bottle can literally be turned into another glass bottle over and over and over. Same thing with metal. Cardboard can always be turned into the exact same thing, but it can be composted and it can most of the times be recycled more times than plastic, of course, and it also naturally composts and biodegrades. So that's why we'll be prioritizing the materials that we're going to be using today. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're gonna try to zero waste grocery shop at Target, you definitely have to start in the produce section. That's the only section you're gonna find anything unpackaged. And there were a few things, I was pretty happy about that. But then I wanted to go scope out the aisles to see what else they had. And I found avocados in a plastic bag that were frozen. We'll walk away from that. I also wanted to see how they had beans packaged, if they happen to have any anything better than plastic, and they did have tin cans, so that was good. And then all of their rices were in plastic bags, so that was a bummer, but this one didn't seem to have any plastic. Okay, so now I've walked all the aisles over there, I kind of have a feel for what they have to offer. I'm thinking either I'm going to make something with pasta or maybe with quinoa. I'm definitely going to get some tomatoes, some onions, 
and build a meal around those things because I can get those completely package free. It's always weird to vlog in public because you don't know <laughs> what the like rules are, where you are, or if people are gonna think you're a freak or what's going on. So I'm trying to do it like a little low key. So let's go back to the food and get what we want. Need the produce bags for the tomatoes and the onions and stuff like that. Like I said, start in the produce section and use that as building blocks for your meal. I couldn't get garlic without plastic around it, that was a bummer, but I could get an onion. And then I could also get some green peas in metal. Like we said, metal is better than plastic, and once I open this one, we'll find out if there's any plastic in there. But I'm hoping there isn't. You can also get pasta in cardboard packaging. Yes, there are those little windows, but I think it's better than the other alternatives with rice that every single one of their rices came in plastic bag. So I decided on some rigatoni and I just grabbed a box of that. I also feel like I should turn around and get the couscous because it sounds like there is no plastic in there. If there was a plastic bag, I'd say nah. But then I wanted to head over to the spices because I had intended to make a pasta with the tomatoes and the rigatoni, but literally all of their spices were in plastic except for these. And there was no parsley, no red peppers, no garlic, nothing that I would normally use to make a pasta. So that got a little tricky and I had to change my plans around a bit. Being able to find package-free tomatoes to make a pasta, not really helpful if I can't find uh, anything to flavor it. Great. So instead of opting to use the tomatoes as pasta sauce, I went ahead and went over to get a already flavored tomato sauce since I couldn't find any that were packaged in anything other than plastic and tapping on pasta jars is like one of my favorite hobbies. You just, Newman's changed the plastic, so skip that. Okay, so since we can't make pasta with the tomatoes, I decided I'll make a salad with the tomatoes and cucumbers and oil and vinegar and like salt and pepper and I think that will be good. So we need a couple of these. Two should be fine. Should I put them in a bag? Mm, they might be okay like that. Last time I did this, it was challenging, so I was expecting a challenge, but I feel like everything I come up with, I then run into like another issue and I can't do it, so. Well, we'll figure it out though. Together we will figure it out. So I made it back from Target with my bag of goodies and I just wanna show you guys what I got and kind of a little bit about my experience and give you the breakdown of all that good stuff. They didn't have a ton of unpackaged produce and the produce they did have unpackaged was mostly fruit, which makes it hard to make a meal out of it. So let's start with the unpackaged produce that I wanna show you guys that I got and tell you my experience with that. So these are Roma tomatoes. I know I showed in the video how much they were. Uh, I think they were 15 cents, I wanna say. That's what the price was um, wherever I picked them up. When she was ringing me up, she was charging me a dollar, was it 29 or 49 per these tomatoes? And I was like, that's no, like I, I had to tell her. I was like, I'm pretty sure over there these were 15 cents. And so she rang them up, but she, I think she thought I said 50. So she charged me 50 cents for each of these tomatoes, which wasn't right, but I didn't want to correct her again. So I just paid it. But Target is obviously not like priority. Their priorities are not produce. So uh, just beware if you're going to b go buy like unpackaged produce where they don't just scan a barcode at Target, watch what they're ringing it up for because that was insane. Like I almost paid like $7 for these tomatoes. In what in what world? Please tell me. And then similar thing happened with the cucumbers. I know they were 50 cents, but I let that one go because I only got two of them, but she did charge me I think like $1.50 for each of these cucumbers. But I got two cucumbers and two bell peppers. Well, I guess I'll explain to you what I'm gonna make after all this, but anyway, so I got two bell peppers two cucumbers I got some rigatoni so this is cardboard it can be recycled as cardboard you just have to pop out that little plastic film in there which this is the type of plastic I was telling you guys is very hard to recycle but they don't really I've never seen pasta packaging without this stupid little window I'll just put it in my in my thin plastic recycling and hope for the best essentially but 
rigatoni. And then I did pick up some sweet peas in a can. We will find out when I open this if it has a plastic lining or not. Have to be aware of that, but it's something that you can't really tell unless you buy it and you open it unless you've bought them before. So I've never bought these. We'll find out if there's plastic lining or not. I got a tri bean, a three bean blend, kidney pinto, and black beans. This should be good for the other meal I'm gonna make. So I got stuff to make two separate meals. I'll explain to you what they are when I'm done showing you what all I got. I did pick up some of this, which is in glass. I love that sound, always do. Uh, organic chili powder. I think it's Target's brand, I think is what that is. So I just picked up some of that. And then I got an onion. And I got this couscous, which you can hear is loose in there. It's not in a plastic bag, so I got it. And the last thing I got is just some pasta sauce. I'm pretty basic. I used to really like Newman's own basic one, then they switched those over to plastic. So I just went ahead and bought, what brand is this? I think this is Target's brand, so. This should be good. Um, so the plans with this are to use this pasta sauce and rigatoni as well as the sweet peas to make a rigatoni. Normally I would put a lot of garlic and red pepper into this, but if this is all you have, if Target is all you have to shop at, this is a decent meal with all recyclable materials that is plastic free. So that's the first meal I'm gonna make. And then the second one I'm gonna make, I think is gonna be a lot better. The second one is gonna be like couscous and beans. And I'm gonna, this is already flavored. It's like a roasted garlic and olive oil flavor. But I'm gonna flavor these beans with the organic chili powder that I snagged. And then on the side of all of that, I'm going to make a cucumber, tomato, onion, and maybe bell pepper. I think bell pepper could be good to add to this. But like basically like a little salad. So I'm gonna chop all these up, mix them all together with oil and vinegar. And I didn't get oil or vinegar because I already have it at my house in glass. But they did have it there in glass so I wanted to make sure you guys knew that. You can get it there uh, plastic free. And yeah, that was just a quick grocery haul from Target to show you what you can and can't get plastic free or zero waste, if you will, from Target. It's definitely a challenge. I wanted to make this video because a lot of people tell me they don't have access to bulk. They don't have access to like health food stores or package free shops, those sort of things. So I think it's important to keep in mind that you can still make better choices at places like this, but it's not necessarily going to be zero packaging or zero waste because, you know, we still have like that little plastic. I'm not really sure if it'll be recycled, but like we said in the beginning, glass and metal can be recycled infinitely. So it's a much better choice than plastic in terms of recycling. So I hope this gave you some like motivation, inspiration, that sort of thing. Um, I know it's a new year and a lot of people are trying to eat healthier, myself included. So I figured this would be a good time to talk more about grocery store. I actually buy most of my produce right now from a company called Imperfect Produce. They take produce that would have otherwise been wasted, like literally thrown out at the supermarket because of how it looked uh, or because it was surplus, and then they ship it straight to my front door. It's very cheap, very affordable. I actually have a coupon code where you guys can get half off of your first box. I'll link it in the description if you wanna check that out. And if they're not already in your city, you can join the waitlist to see when they do come to your city. But if you don't have any of those things, I wish you the best of luck trying to zero waste grocery shop at places like Target. Target or Walmart or anything like that. And if you want to see a specific grocery store next, me trying this out, leave it in the comments. Also, if you think there was a better meal I could have made from what you saw that they had, let me know. It's always hard to go in there and like try to see what's available and then like base a meal off that. It's like very difficult because normally you plan your meals before you go to the grocery store and this way it was just a little harder so i would love to hear what ideas you guys have for creating meals without plastic packaging at conventional grocery stores okay that's pretty much it but if you want to see me cooking this make sure you're following my vlog channel i'm gonna probably make this tonight because madison and i agreed that last night we ate out so tonight we can't yeah so i'm probably gonna cook one of these meals tonight and i will record it for the vlog channel so that it's up at the same time as this video i'm also doing the minimalism challenge over there um, where i'm decluttering a item from my house for every day of the month so that's going to be hundreds of items and i'll do the wrap up on my channel once it's over but that is it thank you guys so much for watching remember until next time you cannot do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you can do bye guys